I'm Zach with USMC Reefer. Uh, I've been getting a lot of um, comments and emails and stuff like that, um, especially from my local uh, reef club, the guys wanting to see an update on my tank. Um, and I know a lot of you guys have requested it also, and I haven't done a 180 um, update in a while, so this is pretty much what this video is gonna be about. Um, I don't have a lot of changes on the tank. Um, I only have a couple uh, that I can think of at the top of my head. Um, one is this Max Spec Gyre 250. Um, I added onto the tank um, because as you know, this is a peninsula style tank and um, with it being a peninsula style tank, I don't um, get a lot of flow right in kind of this area. So to combat that, I wind up adding that 250 and um, I get a lot more flow in there and I really, really enjoy it. Um, the second thing I kind of did was this aquascape here, from when I first initially set my tank up, um, I, I liked it. I liked having like on a, sec, a second uh, section um, in the tank, uh, but um, I had a buddy that helped me do it and we wind up drilling holes into the rock and putting these like yellow rods in and you wind up seeing the yellow rods in the aquascape and I just didn't dig it too much. So I wind up uh, redoing all of that. Um, no new really additions to the tank as in uh, livestock or fish or anything like that. I wind up adding a harlequin shrimp because I've had um, Asterina starfish terribly and I wind up adding the starfish and a little while after uh, it wind up disappearing and I haven't seen it since. So I don't know if this thing's hide a lot or what, but I haven't seen it. So I don't really have anything in the tank that I think eats shrimp but I could. Um, real quick on some positive things that have happened with the tank. Uh, the growth on everything, like as in um, uh, my SPS that is established in here and my LPS and softies are growing fantastic. Um, I um, Just to add on to the good, um, for me going from my J-Bo doser to um, going to um, the Neptune Systems dose uh, and to make my um, my system just that that stable has helped out tremendously with the growth. Uh, the only thing that's kind of um, on a bad side I think is any kind of real SPS that I add to my tank um, will start encrusting the plug, will start encrusting in my tank and then I'll get slow tissue necrosis within a couple months and it's just extremely frustrating with it um, as in doing like my parameters to, as of today alkalinity is 8.7 uh, my calcium is right at 400 my magnesium is a little high I don't know if this would happen to do with anything but it's at 1600 so um, I have never I'm gonna throw this out with you guys maybe you guys can help me out I have never ever ever dosed magnesium to any tank that I've ever um, ever had from my first tank until now and I've always had high magnesium. I do consistent water changes. Um, every two weeks I do a 40 gallon water change on this and this is a one, uh, 180 gallon display about uh, 45, 50 gallon um, uh, sump but I do you know I, I do regular water changes and I figure that might keep my my um, parameters more stable but I wouldn't I don't know why I'm having really high magnesium other than it probably coming from the salt mix. Um, some things I got coming uh, to the tank soon. Um, one is I bought a calcium reactor. Haven't been brave enough to set that up yet. Um, but I have, I have the reactor um, and everything. I just haven't set it up yet. And uh, the two is Miracle Mud. I wind up buying, and I cannot believe, I'm probably on the same boat with you guys, I cannot believe I spent $70 on 10 pounds of mud. So I figured that that would at least come close to covering my refugium, and I was not even semi-close. And I'm probably gonna need 30 pounds total. So that means adding another 20 pounds of that, which would be another 100 and 
uh, you know, forty, hundred fifty dollars of mud. So to properly cover my refugium. So um, that's going to happen. I've already begun the process, so it's going to be saving up, getting a couple more bags of that, and adding it to the refugium. So those are some things that are coming up. Um, enough of me talking. I've talked for a long enough, and I, I'm going to walk you guys around the tank, uh, show you the growth of everything. Uh, I'll show you guys under the sump. Uh, some people like seeing that, and uh, I know I did. I was curious, so um, I'll run you through everything. And uh, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and uh, I'll be sure to answer anything that you got. Now let's get to the tank. All right, guys. Uh, so I, I've told you guys. Sorry about the glare on, on there. Uh, I told you guys I don't have a gimbal and I need to invest in one. But uh, I'm just gonna walk you guys through just some of the corals that you've seen, um, and show you the, some of the, the of the growth um, that I have on um, things such as my Satosa, if you've seen that. Um, but a lot of corals, like this this one in particular, you know, grown very, very well and then slowly dying all the way up and just now it's like little tips, really frustrating. Um, even like with this uh, green slimer that I have right here, um, you, I can't really tell well, but it was doing very well and now it's starting to slowly recede. Um, but things that have been established in my tank, uh, you know, the, the Jason Fox, um, pretty... Uh, Pretty Pebble Monty, uh, my bird's nest, um, my Samacora, my Monty's are taking off like crazy. Uh, having just a touch of um, algae in there, my phosphates were a little high. Um, they were about uh, 0.11 today when I test, tested. Um, if you guys are wondering why my pink bird's nest is down here, was up here. And I did some fragging of uh, my green hammer. Um, because it was sitting there and was starting to kill this a lot. So um, I took that off. And as you can tell, there was a very, very small piece that was actually glued to the rock. So any movement of that heavy piece um, wind up taking it down. So I have to figure a good way to put that back up. So if you guys have a, a good way of mounting uh, a big colony of bird's nest, please let me know. Um, Elegance as, uh, is big and happier than ever. Once I put the Max Spec 250 on and had a lot more additional flow in this area, it did not like it at all and shoveled up a lot, but now it is back to normal. Um, I've done a moving around. My Duncans have just got absolutely massive. I went up putting it over here um, just for now because it was attached to a rock over here. Moving this area around, it wound up falling off. Something that I have been wanting for a long time, just so we can document the growth, is this coral right here. This, let me see if I can back this up. That is a Jason's Fox uh, Raja Rampage. Um, Chalice has come and go um, in popularity, it seems like, in the hobby. I love chalices, and that is probably one of the most awesome chalices I've seen when it becomes a full colony, That and, and it's extremely awesome so I can't wait for that to grow out um, I have fragged this orange hammer um, up multiple times people are loving this so I have been cutting it up a little bit um, just to share the wealth um, I've also I have multiple colonies so um, I'm actually gonna tr um, try to take this colony out and I want to replace it with the Jason Fox cold fusion money um, and grow that out. I think that's going to be a stunner piece right there. So I've been uh, breaking it off, giving people pieces. Um, I fragged up some of my pink's bird's nest for people. Um, and uh, selling these for $20 a frag. Try not to <laughs> get the uh, get people too much and everything. Um, just like in everything else, these kryptonite candy canes, you guys cannot even see how many heads I have on this. It is just absolutely massive and is just growing and growing and growing. And um, I bought this when it was one head and now it is probably about 30 to 40 heads and it's fantastic. Another chalice that I have, um, some acans here that I just glued a while back and they're doing okay. Um, 
this Starry Night Acro, I have fragged multiple times. Um, people love that. Um, and just a quick overview of just some other corals that I have. Um, this is, and I don't know if people have um, problems with this. This is that Red Dragon, and it was doing well for a while, starting to encrust, and then as you can see, there's white on the bottom of that, and it's starting to go too. So, um, I don't know guys. Um, having problems with that my, my parameters stay pretty pretty stable so um, I don't know I'm trying to keep everything as stable as possible to grow some things grow some things don't I know that's just part of the game but uh, um, I don't know so I'm gonna show you this stuff real quick if anybody cares to see that and uh, then I'll go ahead and wrap this up for the update all right, guys, just to show you kind of what I'm, I'm running down here um, is the exact same thing as pretty much when I set this up. I still have my same Reef Octopus 202 skimmer in here. Um, I have a um, BRS uh, dual reactor. I only run um, carbon in it right now. I have not been running GFO. Um, I have a refugium here, and my Shado seems to, I mean, it, you, you think there's a lot here, but... It never seems to get any bigger than this, and I'm having an extremely hard time growing anything in here other than an extreme lot of hair algae, a lot of lot of hair algae. So um, it's okay. I mean, that's what a refugium is for. I'd rather grow it in here than up in my display. Um, one thing I'll be doing here, whenever um, if it shows it well, I will be taking all of these. Um, uh, marine pure spheres out um, of this area when I put, put the mud down here and I'll just put them down over here and clean them off they're caked caked in here algae um, I run two Eheim heaters and a Jabo return pump in this side um, one product that I have been using recently that I, I really do um, like a lot is uh, this uh, phosphate E and helping uh, reduce nitrates um, you just gotta be very careful with it but um, yeah since I've added this new uh, Neptune uh, dose and w coupled with these Aquamax uh, dosing um, containers it's been awesome but uh, it kind of kind of sad to say I, I want to try a, a, re um, a calcium reactor so I wind up taking this and flipping this this way and then this whole area will be the calcium reactor. So um, I just want to see if maybe that's what I'm missing. Uh, a lot of people talk about um, calcium reactors being the secret sauce and um, the best thing that can happen to you and having a reef tank. So uh, maybe that maybe that's true. Maybe that uh, is what this tank needs and I bought it already. So we're gonna see um see how that works and if i don't like it then i can always go back to two part um, my two part dosing isn't terrible right now and it doesn't bug me so um and then my next video hopefully i'll have it out uh not too long but i will be going over my new well my new my newly renovated kind of ish um frag slash grow out tank and uh, let you know all the crazy goodies that I have in there. So, um, anyways, guys, I'm Zach with USMC Reefer. If you have anything, any questions about the coral, the fish, the equipment, uh, anything like that, let me know, and I'll be sure to answer them all in the comments below. So, I appreciate you guys for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic day, and uh, thank you guys for watching.